In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best Peruvian foods you must try. And if you're watching this and you're Peruvian, I'm sorry if I left out some of your favorite Peruvian dishes. I know Peruvian food is God's gift to the world, um, but I like to keep my videos about five minutes, give or take. So I'll probably do a second video in the future, maybe even a third. But if I left out your favorite, sorry in advance. So let's get right into it and start with something that's maybe not so well known. And this one is called Dairin Verdes. This is pretty much a pasta dish topped with steak. And it's like the Peruvian version of pesto, except it's not exactly pesto. This sauce is made from basil, spinach, evaporated milk, and walnuts. It's definitely a creamy sauce, but the flavor is not as intense as pesto. Not that pesto is like strong, but it has a very distinct flavor. Dairi Verdes is way more mild. And I've had it before where it was made with spaghetti noodles, but then I've also had it where it was like a thicker, flatter noodle, kind of like uh, flat noodles in Thai food. So I don't know what's the right way to do it, but I've seen both and they're both great. So it doesn't really matter. And I feel like you don't think of pasta when you think of Latin American food. So if you want something different or something that's not so well known in Peruvian food, I would definitely go with this one. It's really good. So another Peruvian food you must try is ceviche. And now this one is definitely one of the probably most well-known Peruvian foods that you've probably seen, even if you haven't tried it. It's pretty much raw fish marinated in lime with red onion, ahi, peppers, and there's even sweet potato and sweet corn in it, AKA mote and cilantro. If you like sushi, and if you specifically like sashimi, you'll like this. Not a strong fish flavor at all, and I think it's because everything that it's mixed with, like the red onion, the lime, the peppers, that kind of removes that strong fishy flavor and smell from it. And the one I'm showing you right now is not classic ceviche. This is, uh, I think, rocoto ceviche. And there's different variations of ceviche. Like you could have ones where it's just the Corvina fish, then they have ones where it's mixed with uh, octopus and shrimp, then they have ones like this one with a different sauce. They're really good. So if you go to a place, don't be surprised to see uh, an appetizer on the menu where it's like a ceviche sampler. And if you've never had ceviche, you should get that sampler. They're all really good and you'll find different ones that you like more than others. But if you don't like fish at all, I, I wouldn't suggest this for you. But if you like sushi and sashimi, you'll love this, try it. So another Peruvian food that you must try that's probably not so well known either are anticuchos. And to put it simply, these are basically sliced cow heart kebabs. And you're probably thinking, that's so weird. Why would I want to try cow heart? That sounds awful. It's amazing. It's really good. It tastes just like beef. Like if nobody told you it was cow heart, you wouldn't know the difference. It's really tender. It's really flavorful. Uh, it comes with a little spicy ahi sauce and it's just awesome. There's nothing funky about it. It doesn't look weird. When you get it brought to your table, it just looks like beef skewers. Like it's not, it's really not weird. <laughs> if you're feeling adventurous, I guess you should try it. If you're skeptical, I would still say try it. It's really good. It's not weird at all. Now, another well-known Peruvian food that you must try is lomo saltado. And this is basically a beef stir fry made with thick cuts of red onion and tomato served with white rice and fries. And the beef is marinated in vinegar, soy sauce, some other spices. So don't be surprised when you're eating it, you get familiar taste from Asian food because there's actually a really big Chinese community in Peru, so much so that it's influenced a lot of the cuisine and dishes out in Peru. For example, this one has a soy sauce in it. Um, there's even another dish that I won't show in this one, maybe in another future video called chaufa, which is basically like a fried rice. And I feel like this one is a really good entry dish to Peruvian food if you've never had Peruvian food. Pretty safe, it's just beef. You get your side of fries and rice. So if you love carbs, you get to double up on your carbs. So again, if you've never had Peruvian food, I would say try this one for the first time. And one other Peruvian food you must try, well, it's probably more like an appetizer, but either way, it's delicious. And it's papa a la huancaina. This is pretty much boiled yellow potatoes in huancaina sauce, which is made from queso fresco, oil, ají amarillo, and evaporated milk. And the sauce is not thick. It's definitely a more, I don't want to say liquidy because it's not like watery, but you get the idea. It's, it's delicious. It has a very mild kick to it. I would not call it spicy, but there's definitely a little mild kick to it. And it's delicious. You'll finish the potatoes and you want to lick your plate. It's so good. And if you're lucky enough to go to a Peruvian restaurant and they have on the menu a dish called Tayarin a la Huancaina, it's basically the noodles that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, but instead of the uh, pesto sauce, 
it's Wankaina. I've had that once before and it's really good. So if you like this one after trying it, you should also try dieting a la Wankaina. So I hope this video helps you figure out what Peruvian foods you should try. If you want to see me do another video about Peruvian food, let me know in the comments. If you want to learn about what Jamaican foods or Ethiopian foods you should try, check out these videos that I made. And thank you for watching.